all depend on air for our respiratory needs. However, nowadays the air is getting polluted and these air pollutants may be injurious for all living organisms. Air pollutants severely affect the respiratory system of humans and animals. Sometimes, it may even cause premature death of humans and animals due to respiratory ailment. Harmful effects depend on the concentration of pollutants and duration of exposure to these pollutants. Pollutants also reduce growth and yield of crops and cause premature death of plants. Hello everybody. I welcome you all to our today's class. Aj asi air pollution de prabhava ate unna de control de tarikiyan bare gal karange. Aao, sab to pehla air pollution nu explain kar liye. Any unwanted particle present in the atmosphere is known as air pollution. It may be in the form of dust, smoke, pollens, chemicals or any other air pollutant. A ta asi jaande haan ki jado to industrialization da daur shuru hoya hai, odo to pollution ne aapne pair pasar ne shuru kar dite haan. Par pichle panj to sat deha kya to, is ne ek khatarnaak roop ikhtiyar kar liya hai. Air pollution kai karna kar ke vadda hi ja reha hai. इस दे वदन दे कुछ कारण इस तरह हन रैपिड इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन पाव तेजी नाल वददा होया उद्योगी करन इंक्रीज रेट ऑफ अर्बनाइजेशन पाव तेजी नाल वददा शहरी करन जिस नाल निर्माण गतिविधिया वद गईया इंक्रीजिंग नंबर ऑफ व्हीकल्स अते ट्रैफिक इकोनॉमिक बूम एटसेट्रा पर इना विचो सब तो वड़ा कारण है population explosion कारण बिल्कुल स्पष्ट है जिन्नी ज्यादा आबादी होवेगी उन्या ही साडियां जरूरता भी वदन गियां अते इना लोडानू पूरा करन लेई सानू ज्यादा resources दी लोड पवेगी जिवे की ज्यादा मकान बनाउन लेई ज्यादा जमीन दी लोड होवेगी जिस ले पाव मकान बनाउन ले डिफॉरेस्टेशन होवेगी ज्यादा मकान बनाउन ले ज्यादा सीमेंट रोडी बजरी आदि दी लोड हुंदी है जो किसे ना किसे तरह जमीन दी खुदाई नाल जुड़े हुंदे हन अते इस नाल सिर्फ जमीन ही खराब नहीं हुंदी बल्कि एयर पोल्यूशन भी हुंदा है इसे तरह जिन्नी ज्यादा आबादी होवेगी उन्नी ही उन्ना दे पालन पोषण ले ज्यादा खेती दी लोड पवेगी जिस ले ज्यादा खेती योग भूमि जा ज्यादा उद्योगां दी लोड हुंदी है जमीन दी सीमित मात्रा दे कारण एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर विच ज्यादा गुंजाइश नहीं है इसले सानो इंडस्ट्रीज लगाउनिया पहंदिया हन जिस नाल एयर पोल्यूशन हुंदा है इस दे नाल नाल इंडस्ट्रीज नु ज्यादा रिसोर्सेस दी लोड हुंदी है जो किसे होर थां तो व्हीकल्स राही मंगवाया जावेगा अते जिस नाल अल्टीमेटली पोल्यूशन होवेगा दूजे पासे इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोडक्शन वद हो नाल इनकम वदेगी अते लोग अपने पर्सनल व्हीकल्स खरीदना चाहनगे जिन्नी ज्यादा गड्डियां उन्ना वद पोल्यूशन इस तरह असी इस नतीजे ते पहुंचते हां कि पॉपुलेशन एक्सप्लोजन बहुत सारियां समस्यावां दी जड़ है सो वी कैन से दैट द एयर दैट वी ब्रीथ इन इज नॉट वेरी क्लीन इट कंटेन्स मेनी इंप्योरिटीज लाइक डस्ट स्मोक एंड पोलन हार्मफुल गैसेस लाइक नाइट्रोजन डाइऑक्साइड एंड सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड एंड पार्टिकुलेट्स the exhaust of vehicles contains gases like carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, nitrogen dioxide that are extremely harmful for all living organisms. Let us find out 
how air pollution affects our life. Effects of air pollution When we inhale air, the harmful pollutants in air directly enter our lungs. Lungs secrete mucus to trap the particles. It affects the supply of oxygen and cells become incapable to exchange the oxygen and deficiency of oxygen leads to death of cells. Carbon monoxide is an extremely poisonous gas. In a closed room, it affects the lungs severely as it affects the red blood cells which carry oxygen into the blood. It may even cause death of a person due to lack of oxygen. Acid rain is also caused due to air pollution. The air pollutants come down along with rainwater and cause damage to our crops and monuments. It causes damage to buildings and sculptures made of marble and limestone. Air pollution also affects plant growth when these dust particles deposit on the surface of leaves. It affects the rate of photosynthesis in plants. So, it directly affects the growth of plants. Asi keh sakde ha ki air pollution de bohat harmful effects hunde han. A. Headache, dizziness, skin allergies, ate breathing problems da karan ban de han. Air pollutants, suffocation, asthma, ate akha vich irritation da karan hunde han. ज्यादातर रेस्पिरेटरी डिजीजेस एयर पोल्यूशन दे कारण ही हुंदिया हन कई बार ए प्लांट ग्रोथ नु भी अफेक्ट करदे हन ए साडे एनवायरनमेंट अते प्रॉपर्टी नु भी डैमेज करदे हन इन अदर वर्ड्स एयर पोल्यूशन इज वेरी डेंजरस नॉट ओनली फॉर अस बट आल्सो फॉर आवर एनवायरनमेंट डू यू नो अबाउट द मेजर एयर पोल्यूटेंट्स ओके Let us explore about some air pollutants. The major air pollutants are carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxide, chlorofluorocarbons, lead, suspended particulate matter, methane, etc. Let us know more about these sources of air pollution. Sources of air pollution. Carbon monoxide is produced by incomplete burning of carbon-based fuels including petrol, diesel and wood. It is also produced from the combustion of natural and synthetic products such as cigarettes. This gas is also known as suffocating gas. Carbon dioxide is the principal greenhouse gas emitted as a result of human activities such as the burning of coal, oil and natural gases. Sulfur dioxide is a gas produced from burning coal mainly in thermal power plants. Some industrial processes such as production of paper and smelting of metals produce sulfur dioxide. Nitrous oxide causes smog and acid rain. It is produced from burning fuels including petrol, diesel and coal. Chlorofluorocarbons are the gases that are released mainly from air conditioning systems and refrigeration lead is present in petrol diesel lead batteries paints hair dye products etc when these products are used they release lead in our atmosphere Suspended particulate matter consists of solids in the air mainly in the form of smoke and dust. 
These can remain suspended in air for extended periods. These suspended particulate matters create a hazy atmosphere which reduces visibility. You might have heard about the South Asian haze in the year 2005 in which the entire Southeast Asian countries were covered with brown dusty clouds for 2-3 days. Even the sun was not clearly visible for 2-3 days due to haze. Methane is mainly released from marshy lands and swamps. That is why it is also known as marsh gas. It also pollutes the environment and contributes as a greenhouse gas. All these are major air pollutants. Air pollution nu do hor categories which subdivide kita ja sakda hai. Indoor ja domestic pollution ate outdoor ja external pollution. So let us make it clear. Indoor air pollution. Lok din da zyada tar sama kara ja kise institution ja commercial place de andar hi spend kar de han which is counted as indoors. ए ओ थावा हन जिथे असी पढ़ दे हाँ कम कर दे हाँ खान दे पीन दे हाँ सोन दे हाँ अते अपनिया कई एक्टिविटीज नाल अपने आसे पासे दे एनवायरनमेंट नू पल्यूट कर दे हाँ इंडोर एयर पल्यूशन दे कई कारण हो सक दे हन आओ उनानू जानिए सिगरेट एंड बीड़ी स्मोकिंग कुकिंग एंड हीटिंग एप्लाइंसेस पेंस Furniture spray, furniture polish, etc. cause air pollution in urban areas. While in rural areas, traditional fuels such as firewood, coal and dried cow dung cakes, etc. that are used for cooking and heating purpose produces large amount of smoke and thus add to pollution. In urban areas, Exposure to indoor air pollution has increased due to a variety of reasons, including the construction of more tightly sealed buildings, reduced ventilation, the use of synthetic materials for building and furnishing, and the use of chemical products, generators, refrigerators, electrical appliances, and household care products such as insect repellents. Bacheo, outdoor gaseous pollutants, volcano, forest fires, urban fires, motor vehicles, ate factories which fuel combustion adi rahi vatavaran which aunde han. A pollutants inne hanikarak hunde han ki cancer da karan vi ban sakde han. Islai, Inanu hazardous air pollutants vajjo janya janda hai. So, let us know more about sources of outdoor pollution. Outdoor air pollution The major sources of outdoor air pollution are vehicular movement, industrial activities, flying of jet plane, atomic bomb explosion, hydrogen bomb explosion, use of crackers, and smoking of cigarettes or beeries. All these activities add pollutants into the atmosphere. They add smoke and gases over wide areas. While the forest fire, volcanic eruption, foul smell from swampy soil or from the landfill sites also generate air pollution. So we can say Human activities at the nature, though we air pollution lay equally responsible han. Asi nature theta control nahi kar sakde. Is lay a lazmi hai ki asi apnya activities nu control karke pollution nu reduce karandi koshish kariye. Chalo janiye ki asi industrial air pollution nu kiwe reduce kar sakde haan. By the use of Cyclone separator, electrostatic precipitator, 
catalytic converter, bag filter and wet scrubber we can reduce the pollution. Let us explore the process of filtering of air. The cyclone separator is a type of separator in which the polluted air is entered in a container. Thereafter, entered pollutants move towards the wall due to the centrifugal force. After that, pollutants are ultimately separated from the polluted air. Most of the impurities settle down at the bottom and the clean air is moved outside from the cylinder. Another method is electrostatic precipitator, which can remove over 99% particulate matter present in the exhaust from a thermal power plant. Electrostatic precipitator has electrode plates that are maintained at several thousand volts current which produce a corona that releases electrons. These electrons attach to dust particles, giving them a net negative charge. The collecting plates attract the charged dust particles. It removes the unionized impurities from the polluted air. The velocity of air between the plates must be low enough to allow the dust to fall or settle down on the bottom plate. Now let us know about catalytic converter. Actually, most of the motorized vehicles have catalytic converters in them. This catalytic converter having expensive metals, namely platinum, palladium and rhodium as catalysts, are fitted into automobiles for reducing emission of poisonous gases. As the exhaust passes through the catalytic converter, unburnt hydrocarbons are converted into carbon dioxide and water. Motor vehicles equipped with catalytic converter should use unleaded petrol because lead in the petrol inactivates the catalyst. So we have to use the unleaded diesel or petrol in our vehicles. There is another method to reduce air pollution in industries, that is, bag filter. Bag filter has two parts. One is shaking mechanism and another is inlet pipe. Once the polluted air enters through the inlet pipe, into the shaking cylinder, the air is shaken by some mechanism. The porous bags present in the chamber attract the pollutants. And most of the air pollutants get fixed to this porous bag. And finally, we get pollutant free air. Another method is wet scrubbers. In the wet scrubber, most of pollutants are entrapped in the wet scrubbers. A scrubber can remove gases like sulfur dioxide. In a scrubber, the exhaust is passed through a spray of water or lime to get clean air. Do you know, according to the Central Pollution Control Board or CPCB, Particulate sizes of 2.5 micrometers are mainly responsible for causing harm to human health. These fine particulates can be inhaled deep into the lungs and can cause breathing and respiratory problems such as irritation, inflammations and damage to lungs and even premature death. Students. To see Jande Ho ki Delhi which vehicular traffic boho zyada hai. Delhi which Gujarat ate West Bengal doha de jorto zyada karahan. 1990s which Delhi sheher vishvidya 41 most polluted cities which ho fourth rank te si. Delhi which 
एयर पोल्यूशन बहुत सीरियस प्रॉब्लम बन गई सी इसलिए सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया विच एक पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट लिटिगेशन यानी कि पी आई एल फाइल की गई अंडर द डायरेक्टिव ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट द गवर्नमेंट वॉज आस टू टेक अप्रोप्रिएट मेजर्स विद इन अ स्पेसिफाइड टाइम पीरियड टू रिड्यूस पोल्यूशन दीज मेजर्स इंक्लूडेड स्विचिंग ओवर द एंटायर फ्लीट ऑफ पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट दैट इज बसेज फ्रॉम डीजल टू कंप्रेस्ड नेचुरल गैस और सी एन जी ऑल द बसेज ऑफ डेली वर टू रन ऑन सी एन जी बाय द एंड ऑफ टू थाउजेंड टू एक्चुअली सी एन जी इज बेटर दैन डीजल सी एन जी बर्नस मोस्ट एफिशियंटली इन द ऑटोमोबील्स सी एन जी इज चीपर दैन पेट्रोल और डीजल सी एन जी कैन नॉट बी साइफंड ऑफ बाय थीव्स सी एन जी कैन नॉट बी एडल्टरेटेड लाइक पेट्रोल और डीजल सो वी कैन से सी एन जी इज बेटर दैन डीजल और पेट्रोल इट हेल्प्स टू रिड्यूस एयर पोल्यूशन साइमल्टेनियसली पैरल स्टेप्स टेकन इन डेली फॉर रिड्यूसिंग वहीकुलर पोल्यूशन इंक्लूड फेजिंग आउट ऑफ ओल्ड वहीकल्स यूज ऑफ अनलेडेड पेट्रोल यूज ऑफ लो सल्फर पेट्रोल एंड डीजल यूज ऑफ कैटलिटिक कन्वर्टर्स इन वहीकल्स एप्लीकेशन ऑफ स्ट्रिंजेड पोल्यूशन लेवल नॉर्म्स फॉर वहीकल्स एटसेट्रा अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस इंडियन गवर्नमेंट कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड Air Act for Prevention and Control of Pollution which came into force in 1981 and after that this act was modified in 1987 to include noise as an air pollutant in the year 2000 our government set the emission norms popularly known as India 2000 norm or Euro 1 norms This norm was enforced nationwide on four wheelers. Euro 1 norms were enforced in Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata and Chennai. While Euro 2 norms were applicable in Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Ahmedabad, Pune, Surat Kanpur, Lucknow, Sholapur, and Agra by the end of 2003, and it was applicable nationwide by April 2005. But very soon, Bharat Stage Three or Euro Three standards were enforced, in which these norms should be followed up to April 2005 in 12 cities. along with all metro cities and up to april 2010 bharat stage 3 should be enforced nationwide and from april 2010 onwards bharat stage 4 or euro 4 norms should be followed in 12 cities along with metro cities these standards apply to all new four wheelers sold and registered in their respective regions in addition the national auto fuel policy introduces certain emission requirements for interstate buses with routes originating or terminating in delhi or other 10 cities for two and three wheelers bharat stage 2 means euro 2 were applicable from april 1 2005 and bharat stage 3 means euro 3 standards came into force from april 1 2010 we are thankful to our government for the efforts made to improve the air quality of delhi according to an estimate a substantial fall in carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide level have been observed in delhi between 1997 and 2005 but we all know 
that without public participation, we cannot control air pollution. So, we must contribute to reduce air pollution. Let us know how. We must avoid cutting trees and start afforestation. We should take care of the trees in our neighborhood and grow a plant every month and look after it. We should begin a tree watch group to ensure plant growth. We must avoid burning of coal, wood, twigs or leaves and kerosene and promote smokeless chulha in rural areas. We have to promote the use of cycle to travel short distances. We must encourage our family members to walk if they want to go to a nearby market. If we want to go for long distance, then we should promote carpool and use public transport. We have to motivate to use electric battery operated vehicles or solar battery operated vehicles instead of petrol or diesel. We should maintain and tune our vehicles by checking and cleaning the air and oil filter regularly. We should also clean the carbon deposit from silencer. We should maintain recommended tire pressure. We should check the air pollution level at regular intervals and take recommended steps. Polluting industries should not be allowed near habitations. प्यारे बच्चों मेनू उम्मीद है कि तुहानु एयर पॉल्यूशन अते इस दे मिटिगेशन स्टेप्स चंगी तरह समझ आ गए होंगे हुन समा है अपनी चर्चा नु समाप्त करन दा चलो अपने विषय नु एक बार फिर तो दोहरा लिए फॉसिल फ्यूल्स एनर्जी जनरेशन सच एज ट्रांसपोर्टेशन और इंडस्ट्रीज which use hunde han is de nal nal pollution vi generate hunda hai human activities jive burning of fossil fuel garbage industrial effluents crackers refineries foundries mines ate automobiles etc air pollution le zimmewar han pollution generated in local areas affect the regional climate and in turn the global climate so we have to think globally and act locally our local level actions can preserve our environment jive ki sanu deforestation rokna chahida hai ate afforestation nu protsahit karna chahida hai sanu public transport nu promote karna chahida hai is de naal hi सानु पेट्रोल जा डीजल वहीकल्स की थां इलेक्ट्रिक जा हाइब्रिड वहीकल्स मीन्स सी एन जी प्रोपेल्ड सोलर और इलेक्ट्रिक एनर्जी बेस्ड वहीकल्स न प्रमोट करना चाहिए है नाउ हेर इज अ क्विक टेस्ट फॉर यू टू फाइंड आउट हाउ मच यू हैव एक्चुअली एब्जॉर्बड द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द मेजर सोर्स ऑफ क्लोरोफ्लोरो कार्बन्स आंसर Refrigeration is the major source of chlorofluorocarbons. The next question is which gas is known as a greenhouse gas? Answer Carbon dioxide is known as a greenhouse gas. The next question is which gas is known as suffocating gas? Answer Carbon monoxide is known as suffocating gas my next question is which gas is known as marsh gas the answer is methane gas is known as marsh gas next question list some major air pollutants answer the major air pollutants are carbon monoxide carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide nitrogen oxide chlorofluorocarbons lead suspended particulate matter 
methane, etc. I hope you enjoyed the lesson as much as I did. Thank you for your attention and see you next time. Goodbye.